From a 3D printed part to solid metal, let's get started. Now before we get started here, a little background, I took an old pool pump motor that was AC and rewound the, the stator so that it was a three phase permanent magnet generator. The problem I had was that the original rotor for the motor did not have spots for me to put magnets on. So I went into Fusion 360 and designed this new rotor that had eight spots for me to mount the permanent magnets and I printed it out on my 3D printer. After printing out the piece, I got onto my hot wire cutter and using foam cut the main screw channel and the two top vents. The two top vents are actually really important because during the burnout, it allows all the plastic to flow out of the top portion of the, of the mold, leaving uh, an empty void inside where the metal will be filled. The next issue I needed to take care of was where the shaft was going to go. I needed to make sure that it got completely filled with the plaster mold mix. So I mixed up a tiny little bit, stuck it in a plastic bag, clipped off the corner, and, and just squeezed it in so I know that I got a complete fill inside where that shaft hole was. For the molding mix, I use plaster of Paris and silica sand, a 50-50 mix. Make sure you use really cold water for this. The warmer the water, the faster this is going to set, and it already sets pretty fast. To contain the a liquid mold mix, I just use an old soda can box that I cut down and taped to a flat surface. Make sure you mix the plaster in Paris and the silica sand first really well before adding water. A couple things to note here. First, the tape that goes over the mold, you can see it holds it down. The reason for this is it's buoyant. So as you add the liquid plaster and sand, it'll want to rise up out of the out of the box. You don't want this to happen. So a little piece of tape over the top will keep it down in there. The other thing is jiggling the box and, and, and getting all the bubbles out of this. You can do this before you actually do the pour, but either way it's important that you don't want any bubbles. As you'll see, I got one bubble at the end of this video, uh, which I had to grind out. After the mold sets up, you still need to let it dry really well. If you try the burnout process before it's really dry, you're going to get a lot of cracking. For me, the burnout process consists of sitting it face down on my barbecue and just cranking up the heat five, six hundred degrees. Let it sit there for several hours until all that plastic PLA and styrofoam burns away. Once your burnout process is done, I like to immediately start doing the pour. Uh, while it's still hot. So I immediately take it from there, I put tin foil over the top so I don't get sand in the holes and I stick it in this bucket filled with sand, pack sand around it. This is just to insulate it and um, hold it tight and make sure that there's no cracking uh, when I pour the metal in. Ironically, the mold turned out to look like a little face. I didn't plan it like this, but I did get some chuckles out of it. And uh, here we go, pouring liquid hot metal into his mouth. Here's either the best part or the worst part whenever casting metal. This is when you find out if all the hard work was worth it or a complete waste of time. In this case, it was worth it. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. Uh, I haven't taken the screws off or anything yet, but it came out a lot better than I expected. Um, this screw looks like it either came off after I um, broke it apart or it came off before. I'm not sure. The bottom came out pretty good. Um, the top didn't fill completely. I'm not sure you can see that. It didn't fill completely. Uh, that's not a huge issue for me. Uh, the hole is damn near perfect straight through. Uh, the only other issue that I saw is right along this edge right here. There's a There was a bubble, so it filled farther. I'm going to have to grind that down out in order to get the magnet to fit. Other than that, it came out really good. Here's a couple pictures after I hosed it off and uh, scrubbed it down with a wire brush. And then again after I uh, cut off the screws and ground down all the areas. And then the final pictures are of it once I installed it on the shaft with the cooling fins, the bearings, and all the magnets. And it turned out great. As always guys, hit like or subscribe. This video took an additional amount of videoing with the picture in picture. And uh, the amount of editing was uh, quite a lot. So if you like this video, let me know. Hit like or subscribe. Appreciate it.